Millions of natives in Sudan suffer in poverty and ignorance and receive donations from American groups to build their schools and clinics. That includes children in a school in Midland, and their money is changing lives of an oppressed people forever. CBS 7's Pamela Hamm explains. Dennis Bennett spent 20 years as a banker, that is, until four and a half years ago. It was then he heard the story of a people in desperate need, a story he shared with students in West Texas. We're working in an area that has been totally destroyed by war, uh, and even before that had never really been developed. So what the, the students at Midland Christian have enabled us to do in partnership with them is really start the first ever school in human history in this region. So what would bring a financial analyst from Seattle and Midland students together? Maybe fate, mostly a desire to help. Dennis Bennett spoke with the students at Midland Christian this morning, relaying to them about where the money they have raised has gone, what it's done for the children of Sudan. It's built a school, but it's also done some other things, some that may seem very simple to us, but are life-saving to the children of Sudan. They have made an incredible difference in the, in the history of this region because of a simple thing like starting a school. An actual school with teachers, books, and in a place where medicine is sparse, children are crippled by disease and illness, not to mention senseless killings by the Sudan government. Now there is hope for everyone. We have school girls going to school and the kids at the, when I gave that report all the girls were saying yeah we got to get girls in the schools and again that's first for this region. Bennett says the effort by Midland Christian students is more than just education. It is about providing a chance for a future. Thank you. 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 Pamela Ham, CBS 7 News. His name is Ta. Ta. Thank you, thank you.